Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 24th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes and world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours on our sun, still very active plasma filaments around the whole surface of our sun right now, it seems, and antipode regions releasing plasma filaments large ones looking at the last 48 hours incoming we do have two earth facing sunspots and also one cresting fiery region on the right hand side there northern hemisphere of our sun lots of plasma associated with these events incoming looking here the last few images outgoing we're going to see on the left hand side a large plasma filament arc across the surface of the sun reaching huge heights wow that was a massive filament thank god it was not in an earth facing fashion having a look here at multi-spectrum the last 48 hours of events watching the sunspot regions earth facing right now keeping an eye for flaring no new flares to talk about take a moment here to say happy thanksgiving to all of my american friends out there hope you're all enjoying time with loved ones and stuff in your face looking here 171 angstroms just another way to look at our sun showing our heliosphere plasma fiery sunspot regions we have no coronal holes to talk about nor to show today Solar X-ray flux remains in a B range, slowing right down solar proton flux, low and geomagnetic activity slightly elevated there to KP of two. Real-time solar wind was sitting at 349 kilometers per second, just recently jacked up to about 380. But most notable, noticeable is the orange telemetry. That is our density, very heavy contents. Looking at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, showing the large CME taking off towards BEPI. And there is no new solar events thwarted our way. Expecting elevated wind stream soon. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 8. Healthy little spike there last night. Quality of 8.9, power of 7, amplitude of 8. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we had a pretty busy day across Texas. That's right, sizable earthquakes yet again. Mentone, Texas, 4.5 and a 4.9 in that region. As well, a 4.2 here in La Brisas, Mexico. Still an aftershock from that 6.2 the other day. Other than that, just minor activity across California, but building pressure as we're sitting at about 220 earthquakes across the USGS Showing here with the hazard map put on over top. This is where the earthquakes are happening in Texas. Not really a hazard area or fault zone. But definitely seeing an uptick here through California. Straight up all the major fault, lo fault zones along the coast. Carrying on here across the USGS. 4.9 and a 4.7 there, Svalbard. And as well, minor activity across Alaska and the Aleutian Islands, largest being a 3.7 here, Valdez, Alaska. 4.9 there in between Kamchatka and Japan. 5.1 here in Pasaquin, Philippines, northern Philippines. As well, seeing activity still here, Malango, Solomon Islands, 5.4, large one there today, and a 5.2. couple deep earthquakes to talk about as well. Tonga seeing a 5.1, Haifo, and deep earthquakes here, 4.6, 582 kilometer depth, and a 4.7, 504 kilometer depth. As well, Kermadec Islands, 5.1s are ringing out there. So Kermadec Trench lighting up right now with all this activity. As well, notable 5.1 here, Bengkulu, Indonesia, 4.3, 
I ran 18 kilometer depth and as well another 4.3 here in Cyprus. Just south of Turkey. Quiet across the South American plate and into the Antarctic plate. Central America. Only reporting a 4.9 there. Peru. Minor activity coming back to the Caribbean plate. And that is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. A quick browse at the last seven days. What's been shaken across this world? And we've seen some pretty big events the last little while. You gotta wonder what is next. We're still seeing some deep earthquakes with nothing in return. Large, shallow earthquakes most times do follow deep, penetrating earthquakes, especially in Fiji. Way too quiet North American plate, central into South America. Heads up, stay aware and prepared. Now let's have a quick browse at world weather, showing the systems affecting all continents right now, as we have one system bringing some extreme weather to parts of Texas and Alabama and northeastward by Saturday into Sunday. Could see some pretty extreme weather and then snow moving down across the Pacific Northwest. And in the long range, watch for another violent system to develop across the U.S., bringing mostly snow to northern parts, but some extreme weather in the south. Another closer look here at the next few days as that system builds through. Next Saturday, could see some violent weather. Oklahoma and Kansas, Indiana, with that low cooking through. But other than that, Eastern parts of Canada are going to be above normal and a little bit mild this week. Seeing some rain, but that will change in the long-range forecast by the first week of December. We're going to be locked into a deep freeze. Overlooking the West Coast, lots of moisture moving through this week for coastal regions and as well mountainous regions, BC. Overlooking Africa. Some heavy rains building into parts of South Africa, but other than that, daily evaporation rains, nothing major to talk about. We do still have a low spinning through the Mediterranean this week, bringing swaths of moisture and as well a large low off the coast. In Alaska there, going to finally bring some rain to Spain. Overlooking Southeast Asia and the West Pacific, Australia, no major typhoons developing. But some pretty stormy conditions right across the Northern Territory of Australia and as well Eastern parts. Watch for a possible cyclone there. New South Wales. Very interesting days. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by floods across Australia. There are thousands. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a like, give a share show you care. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.